The Isetta is an Italian-designed microcar built under license in a number of different countries, including Spain, Belgium, France, Brazil, Germany, and the United Kingdom. Because of its egg shape and bubble-like windows, it became known as a bubble car, a name later given to other similar vehicles. The BMW Isetta was in 1955 the world's first mass production to achieve a fuel consumption of 3L-100 a km. It was the top-selling single-cylinder car in the world, with 161,728 units sold. Iso Isetta, the car originated with the Italian firm of Iso Spa. In the early 1950s the company was building refrigerators, motor scooters and small three-wheel trucks. Iso's owner, Renzo Rivolta, decided he would like to build a small car for mass distribution. By 1952 the engineers Amenegildo Preti and Pierluigi Raggi had designed a small car that used the motorcycle engine of the Iso Moto 200 and named it Isotara Euro in Italian diminutive meaning little ISO. The Isetta caused a sensation when it was introduced to the motoring press in Turin in November 1953, it was unlike anything seen before. Small long by 1.37 am wide, and egg-shaped, with bubble-type windows, the entire front end of the car hinged outwards to allow entry. In the event of a crash, the driver and passenger were to exit through the canvas sunroof. The steering wheel and instrument panel swung out with a single door, as this made access to the single bench seat simpler. The seat provided reasonable comfort for two occupants, and perhaps a small child. Behind the seat was a large parcel shelf with a spare wheel located below. A heater was optional, and ventilation was provided by opening the fabric sunroof. Power came from a 236cc, 7.1 kW split single two-stroke motorcycle engine. The engine was started by a combination generator starter known as Dinner Start. A manual gearbox provided four forward speeds and reverse. A chain drive connected the gearbox to a solid rear axle with a pair of closely spaced 25 cm rear wheels. The first prototypes had one wheel at the rear, but having a single rear wheel made the car prone to rollovers, so the rear wheel layout was changed to two wheels set 48 cm apart from each other. This narrow track eliminated the need for a differential. The front axle was a modified version of a bonnet independent front suspension. The Isetta took over 30 seconds to reach 50 a km per hour from rest. Top speed was only about 75 a km per hour. The fuel tank held only 13 litres. However, the Isetta would get somewhere between 50 mpg imp and 70 mpg imp depending on how it was driven. In 1954, ESO entered several Isettas in the legendary Mil Miglia where they took the top three spots in the economy classification. Over a distance of 1,600 km the drivers achieved an average speed of over 70 km per hour. In view of its maximum speed, which was just 15 km per hour higher, this was an almost incredible figure. However, despite its initial success, the Isetta was beginning to slip in popularity at home. This was mainly due to renewed competition from Fiat with its 500c model. Renzo Rivolta wanted to concentrate on his new ESO Rivolta sports car, and was extremely interested in doing licensing deals. Plants in Spain and Belgium were already assembling Isettas and Autocarros using Italian-made ESO components. BMW began talking with Rivolta in mid-1954 and bought not just a license but the complete Isetta body tooling as well. Rivolta did not stop with licensing the Isetta to BMW. He negotiated similar deals with companies in France and Brazil. After constructing some 1,000 units, production of the Italian-built cars ceased in 1955, although ESO continued to build the Isetta in Spain until 1958. ESO Autocaro, in addition to the ESO Turismo not described above, ESO also built the Autocaro, a commercial version with full-width rear axle. The Autocaro was offered in several body styles a flatbed pickup, enclosed truck, a tilt bed, or even a fire engine, although some of these might not have been sold. The Autocaro was an extremely popular type of vehicle in Italy, and numerous manufacturers produced some variant of the type. 
ESO had previously produced a motorcycle type Esso Caro. The ESO Auto Caro was larger than most, with its four-wheel layout, conventional rear axle with differential and leaf springs, and a large tubular frame. It could carry a 500 kg load. The name Isetta Auto Caro was also used. It is thought that more than 4,000 Auto Caros were built. VELAM Isetta. In 1954, VELAM acquired a license from ESO to manufacture a car based on the Isetta. Since ESO had sold the body making equipment to BMW, VELAM developed their own body but used the original ESO engine. The VELAM body was rounder and more egg like than ESO's Isetta and was known by the French as the A Euro Yogurt Pot Euro unregistered trademark. Instead of a chassis like the Italian and German versions, there was a subframe bolted to the body at the rear, which held the rear tires, engine, and transmission. The front suspension was bolted to the front of the body. The front door was opened by push button instead of a handle, and the speedometer was mounted in the center of the steering wheel. VELAM started production of the car in 1955 at the old Talbot factory at Souresnes, France and the car was introduced at the 1955 Paris car show. All told, five versions of the car were built, the standard Isetta, a convertible version, a luxury version, a one-off sport version, and a race car. Due to competition from the Renault Dauphine, production ceased in 1958. Romy Isetta In 1955, ESO licensed the Isetta to Romy, a machine tool manufacturer headquartered in the city of Santa Barra Bara do West, in the state of Sao Paulo. Paulo. The Isetta was chosen because it was considered an ideal vehicle for use in the cities by virtue of its size and economy. Released on September 5, 1956, it was the first car produced in Brazil. The car had received government approval as a part of a state-supported drive to establish an automotive industry in Brazil, but ended up being built without government backing. Some 3,000 of the Romy Isettas were manufactured from 1956 to 1961. They kept the ESO design and used ESO engines until 1958. In 1959 they switched to the BMW 300 cc engines. BMW Isetta BMW made the Isetta its own. They redesigned the power plant around a BMW one-cylinder, four-stroke, 247 cc motorcycle engine which generated 10 a kilowatt. Although the major elements of the Italian design remained intact, BMW re-engineered much of the car so much so that none of the parts between a BMW Isetta Moto Coupe and an ESO Isetta are interchangeable. The first BMW Isetta appeared in April 1955. In May 1962, three years after launching the conventionally modern-looking BMW 700, BMW ceased production of Isettas. A total of 161,728 units had been built. BMW Isetta 250, while it retained the bubble window styling, it differed from the Italian model in that its headlamps were fixed separately to the sides of the bodywork and it carried the BMW badge below the windscreen. The car was also redesigned to take a modified version of the 250cc four-stroke engine from the BMW R25-3 motorcycle and the front suspension was changed. The single cylinder generated 9 a kilowatt at 5800 rpm. The crankcase and cylinder were made of cast iron, the cylinder head of aluminium. However, the head was rotated by 180 a degree compared with the motorcycle engine. The twin bearing crankshaft was also different in the Isetta power unit, being larger and featuring reinforced bearings. One of the reasons for this was the heavy dinner start unit which combined the dynamo and self starter. The fuel mixture was provided by a Bing sliding throttle side draft motorcycle carburetor. In addition to further changes of detail, the BMW engineers enlarged the sump for installation in the car and cooled the engine by means of a radial fan and shrouded ducting. The power train from the four-speed gearbox to the two rear wheels was also unusual, fixed to the gearbox output drive was something called a hardy disc, which was a cardan joint made of rubber. On the other side of it was a carden shaft, and finally a second hardy disc, which in turn was located at the entrance to a chain case. 
a duplex chain running in an oil bath led finally to a rigid shaft, at each end of which were the two rear wheels. Thanks to this elaborate power transfer, the engine gearbox unit was both free of tension and well soundproofed in its linkage to the rear axle. In Germany, the Isetta could even be driven with a motorcycle license. The top speed of the Isetta 250 was rated as 85 a km per hour. The first BMW Isetta rolled off the line in April 1955, and in the next eight months some 10,000 of the bubble cars were produced. BMW Isetta 300, in 1956, the government of the Federal Republic of Germany changed the regulations for motor vehicles. Class 4 licenses issued from that time onward could only be used to operate small motorcycles and could no longer be used to operate motor vehicles with a capacity of less than 250 cc. At the same time, the maximum capacity allowed for the Isetta's tax category was 300 cc. Class 4 licenses issued before the change in the regulations were grandfathered and allowed to be used as before. This change in regulations encouraged BMW to revise their Isetta microcars. In October 1956, the Isetta Moto Coupe Deluxe was introduced. The bubble windows were replaced by longer, sliding side windows. The engineers had enlarged the single cylinder to a 72 mm bore and 73 mm stroke, which gave a displacement of exactly 298 cc. At the same time, they raised the compression ratio from 6.8 to 7.01. As a result, the engine power output rose to 10 a kilowatt at 5200 rpm, and the torque rose to 18.4 an rm at 4600 rpm. The maximum speed remained at 85 a kilometer per hour, yet there was a marked increase in flexibility, chiefly noticeable on gradients. BMW 600 the BMW 600 was intended as an enlarged Isetta with more power and a more conventional four-wheel configuration. The front end of the 600 was virtually unchanged from the Isetta, but the 600's wheelbase was stretched to accommodate four seats. A conventional rear axle was added. BMW introduced the semi-trailing arm independent suspension on the 600. This suspension would be used on almost every new model for the next four decades. Because of the increased size and weight, the 600 had a more powerful engine than the Isetta. The 600 had the 582 cc twin engine from the R67 motorcycle. Top speed was 103 km per hour. In two years, only 34,600s were produced, partly due to price competition with the entry level VW Beetle. In the late 1950s, consumers wanted cars that looked like cars and they had lost interest in economy models. Sales of the 600 were, however, aided by the energy crisis of 1956 a Euro 1957. BMW Isetta With space for two in their luggage, the Isetta was perfect for the UK's urban and rural roads. The first motorway, the M1, did not open until 1959, and more conventional cars such as early models of the Morris Minor could barely top 97 a km per hour. At one point, the British National Health Service started providing these vehicles for wheelchair users so they could drive while in their wheelchairs. Although noble in intent and many of these cars were made available free, the project was not deemed successful and was terminated. In 1957, Isetta of Great Britain began producing Isetta 300 models at their factory in the former Brighton Railway Works under license from BMW. The factory had no access by road, with components being delivered by rail, and finished cars being shipped out the same way. The British cars had right-hand drive with the door hinged from the right-hand side of the car and the steering collar moved across to the right as well. Right-hand drive meant that both the driver and the engine were on the same side, so a 27 a kg counterweight was added to the left side to compensate. Dunlop tires were used, and Lucas Electrics replaced the German Heller and Bosch components, with a different headlamp housing being used. Girling brake components replaced the ATE brake parts. The Isetta was not popular in the UK until a three-wheeled version was introduced, and although three-wheelers were more prone to rolling over, there was a financial advantage. They could evade automobile legislation and taxation by being classed as three-wheeled motorcycles, 
and could be driven with a motorcycle license. Isetta of Great Britain continued to produce four-wheeled Isettas, but only for export to Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. In 1962, Isetta of Great Britain also stopped production of the little cars but continued to produce Isetta engines until 1964. Isetta replica kits, the now defunct British firm Tritec, under the model name Zeta, sold a kit car or even an assembled complete BMW Isetta look-alike replica from modern parts, including Honda CN 250cc single-cylinder water-cooled engines with automatic transmission or Kawasaki 500 GPS two-cylinder water-cooled motorcycle engines with optional manual transmission. Some parts, new or used, were from donor vehicles. Front suspension and steering were from the Bedford Rascal or the original and almost identical Suzuki Super Carry light duty van or pickup. Drum brakes and wheels were from Morris and the subsequent British Leyland Motor Corporation Mini. Prices ranged from C. A. £2,650 for the kit up to C. A. £9,450 for a complete version. It could be legally registered for use under British laws. Tritec also supplied some body parts which can be used for running non-exact restorations of BMW Isettas. BMW Isetta Homage, a new version of the BMW Isetta has been rumored since 2007. Currently, this is thought to be the concept vehicle for the BMW i3 project. Popular Culture In Season 1 of Storage Wars, Barry Vice surprisingly picked up a BMW Isetta wrapped up in a storage unit. In the TV series Family Matters, the character of Steve Urkel drove a BMW Isetta. In the original movie Bedazzled, the character Margaret gets into an Isetta with another man while Stanley sees her off and proceeds to attempt suicide. In season 1, episode 8 of the TV series American Pickers, Mike Wolf and Frank Fritz found two Isettas in a large junkyard. In the science fiction TV series Charlie Jade, episode 17 Spin, there is a right-hand drive sliding window Isetta driving through the scene in the Blade Runner-esque Alphavos at minute 29. The Depeg Mode video Never Let Me Down Again features an Isetta being driven whilst the follow-on video behind the wheel begins with the car being towed away by a tractor. In Genesis of Aquarian, Tsukumi Rosemary is shown driving an Isetta. In Weird Al's music video, Whatever You Like After He Says Yeah You Like My High and I an Isetta is seen driving by. In the TV series Heartbeat, the character of Gina Ward, portrayed by Trisha Penrose, drives a RHD sliding window red BMW Isetta 300. Two vehicles have been used bearing the original registration plates XAM 115 and KWC 796. In series 11, episode 6, Old Masters, a blue RHD sliding window BMW Isetta 300, appears broken down at the side of the road causing a problem for a man with his pregnant wife. The vehicle bears the registration plate 733CLY. Lee was a London NW area code. In the hardly working skit titled Moth Attack on College Humor, the BMW Isetta is referenced when the three characters are arguing about what size a moth would have to be to be considered a moth monster. An Isetta features prominently in a scene from the film, The Touchables. In the 50s sci-fi movie The Hideous Sun Demon, an Isetta can be seen in a parking lot while the creature is beginning to scramble up a hillside. Mike Brewer and E. China restored an Isetta in a ninth series episode of Discovery Channel's Wheeler Dealers. In the British film comedy, The Naked Truth Nigel Dennis is a blackmailer who travels in his Isetta to see his victims. In the video game Reckless, the Yakuza missions an Isetta is a drivable vehicle. In the TV series Archer, Season 4 Episode 11, Sterling Archer is seen in an Isetta driving away from saving the Pope from an assassination. In the movies Cars and Cars 2, as well as the video games of the same names, Guido is an Italian Isetta with a forklift attached. In the end credits for the first movie, the car portraying Mike Wazowski is an Isetta. See also, he and Kulkabine, List of Microcars by Country of Origin. Paul Artson's Lueff. References. Notes. External links. ESO Isetta Millennium Official Site.
1959 BMW Isetta Hot Wheels Hat Hadrag, BMW Isetta on Wheeler Dealers.